Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Hiding Gold. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on our notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. We're seeing a growing phenomenon now. It's one that's happening all across America and overseas as well. It's spreading quickly and quietly. What is it? It's called hiding gold. And it's happening everywhere amongst people who watch the news and pay attention to the economy and to current events. First of all, what's causing this phenomenon to increase as dramatically and as quickly as it is? Well, it's a number of things. First of all, people are now terrified and distrustful of the banking world and the financial world. They no longer trust Wall Street. They don't trust any of the banks. They feel that banks and regulators have put in a number of regulations and laws and rules designed to help them seize your money whenever they want for whatever reason they declare. They can steal it and take up to a century to repay or return your money. People no longer trust safety deposit boxes. They're seeing them being seized by the authorities and emptied and then the contents can be appropriated or disappeared by the authorities for a variety of reasons only known to them. Sometimes after they seize your bank box content, they can then claim to the courts that they've simply lost those contacts, if you can believe that. Next, we have inflation. Remember, if the rate of inflation is 10%, then the value of your money can be eroded and completely destroyed in less than 10 years. That means that every dollar you have will lose 10% of its buying power each year at least. So what are people doing with their cash and gold? They're hiding it now. Many of them are hiding their gold and silver in the walls of their homes, in their basements, in their barns or garages. If they have a larger plot of land, then they will bury it somewhere on their property. They will purchase a bunch of surveillance cameras, monitored surveillance cameras, and then position one of those cameras towards their secret hiding spot, wherever they have buried it on their property. And, uh, and then the, the camera will just continually 24 seven watch that spot. And when it detects somebody approaching it, walking towards it, then it will signal you and notify you over your phone. This way, if somebody approaches their hidden gold, uh, then their camera will detect uh, their presence and alert uh, the family. One popular place that many people are hiding their gold or cash is to conceal it in the walls of their basement or even the walls of their uh, their home. If it's in the basement, then they will carve out a compartment in the basement floor or the basement walls and remove a cinder block and place your money there. Then they will seal it back up and paint it to make it look like it was never tampered with and uh, and no one will ever notice that, uh, that that's where you hid your money. It just looks like another undisturbed portion of the wall. Before you place it in the secret hiding place, it's very important to make sure that you do so in a way that prevents the cash and gold from ever being damaged by water or fire. You don't want a small water leak into your wall hiding spot to uh, erode or rot your money away. One of the things that people are doing now is that they're buying gold in smaller sizes and smaller denominations like half ounces and quarter ounces. This is so that they can trade and transact business with these smaller denomination gold coins when they need to. Another phenomena we're seeing more of now is that the individuals who are out there buying gold for themselves are testing it themselves to make sure it's not fake. They use expensive electronic scanners to make sure it's real before they hide it or bury it. The reason for this is that we're hearing that more fake gold and silver is being brought into the U.S by the usual criminals. It's increasing to levels never seen before. We now also hear that diamond and gold stores in New York uh, no longer trust the gold and diamond dealers they buy their gold from, that they've been buying their gold from for decades, not because they think they're engaging in fraud. It's because they're being deceived by the people who sell them their gold and silver. So the deception takes place further up the pipeline. Now, there may be some stores that are engaging in fraud, but from what we hear, most of the deception is occurring further up the gold distribution pipeline. So what do these uh, retail gold outlets do? Well, they're now testing the gold and silver shipments they receive at every leg of their purchase. The fraud is all very pervasive. We don't give financial advice, but we can tell you what the wealthy and smart money is doing. They're all hunkering down and getting ready for what they feel 
will be disruptions in the financial market, the banking system, the credit card and debit card system. The whole thing is losing the confidence of the people. We strongly recommend that when it comes to your money and your wealth, that you should start uh, taking better precautions and exercise more paranoia in your life than you ever have before. Get ready, people. Things are a lot worse than people realize. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.